lovely people, it's Joe Gifford here, Dexterous Diva, just going to have a little chat, just us, about overwhelm. Overwhelm is something which I definitely, definitely get, and if you ask my partner, he will tell you exactly the same thing. We've got our iPads, we've got our phones, we've got the computer, we've got emails, we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, LinkedIn, however many pages you might manage for your business or for your clients, we've got all sorts of things coming at us all the time text messages, vines, instagrams, right, we are in constant reach. So I'm going to be really quick here because obviously you are very busy people but I'm going to talk very quickly about how to manage that overwhelm and give you five ways to manage overwhelm for better creativity and productivity. So my, my first one, number one, set boundaries. Part of my little secret here, you don't have to be at the screen, at your desk, all the time, shh, it's fine. You can get outside into the real world, honestly. So, set boundaries for yourself. My boundaries include after eight o'clock during the weekdays, I'm not online. I don't check my emails or my social media updates much at the weekends at all. In fact, I say no to emails and I really rarely check in on my social media updates because actually out there, there's some great things going on. And I also have some very small people, Eva and Mia, who need my attention and I want to be really present with them in the room. So they're the rules for my boundaries. What about yours? Okay, so next one, lists. You can use lists and smart updates really well to make sure that you are not missing out on the updates that you want to be getting whilst not being tied to your desk. So Twitter lists obvious one but how many of you actually use them set up lists of the people who you want to keep in contact with maybe it's journalists maybe it's other bloggers maybe it's people from the industry sector that you need to be following make sure that you have your lists in place either on Hootsuite or TweetDeck or whichever um, Twitter application that you're, you know that, that you're using personally make sure that they're all set up there for you and you won't miss your streams also, set up things like a Google Alert to make sure that any industry news that you're trying to monitor will come straight to your inbox. You can also subscribe to the best blogs or the industry sector news that you're sort of making sure that you're up to date with. Ensure that comes straight to your inbox. Another smart tip on that number two is to use your inbox as a smart inbox and Gmail can actually file things for you if you set up the right filters so you don't even have to read things as they come in, thus reducing overwhelm. Okay, brain dump. This is one of my favorite things to do. When your brain just feels like it's got so much in there, so much going on, let's just be quiet with it. Brain dump it. Whether it be scrolling loads of lists, doing loads of post-it notes everywhere, or organising something on your favourite app on your iPads, on your phone, whatever. Get that stuff out of your brain and put it down, okay? Just get it out there. Once all that noise has been reduced, you can then start to organise it into lists, make sense of it, be more productive, okay? So just get all that crap out of your brain, stop the noise, organise it somewhere, and that will help you not feel so overwhelmed. Brilliant. Okay, where else are we? Scheduling updates is a really good way, of course, to not stay constantly tied to your computer, constantly tied to social media. So I happen to use Ascendable. Um, I've also in the past used TweetDeck and other apps. Um, if you schedule your Facebook page updates, your Google Plus updates, your Twitter updates, all the stuff that you need your clients and your audience to know, if you know that that has been planned for the next few days or for the day ahead, you can then actually step away from the social media or, or from the online world for a bit and get on with whatever piece of work you're trying to get on with or get on with using your brain to sort of come up with some ideas. So it's about finding that space. And so by taking control of it, by scheduling, you're working smart and you are taking that stress off of yourself. And that's a really, really easy, obvious tip, but it's one that will really help. And I happen to manage about five Facebook pages at the moment for myself and then my client one, so I need to make sure that I'm ahead of the game. Okay, and my last one, number five, get out! Get out of the house, get out into the real world. 
walk on some grass, you know, have a power walk in the rain, just meet a friend for coffee, just get out and it will help your brain slow down. So I want you to leave the house occasionally as part of your assessing the boundaries, whether it's your lunchtime walk, if it's your kind of evening switch off, have a wander, have a bike ride, whatever it is, you know, just breathe. Be out there and think about being in the moment, even say to yourself, be here now. And your creative brain, your productive brain needs that space to function really well. If you don't give it that space, you're just gonna become more cluttered. For those genius ideas to come, you've gotta switch off and step away from the screen. So that's a really quick five minute one from me, Jo Giffords, the ideas girl at Dexterous Diva. So you can find out more for me I'm on Twitter at DexDiva, on Facebook forward slash DexDiva, and my blog is dexterousdiva.co.uk, where I offer uh, free tips and tutorials and also a free idea generation and e course for bloggers. So come on over, sign up for some updates, and leave comments on the blog, and let me know how you're getting on with stepping away. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.